Diabetes is an epidemic. Some people even called it the diabetes tsunami. So currently there are more than 350 million people with diabetes worldwide and this is expected to increase to about 500 million, half a billion people by 2030. <music> diabetes is a group of metabolic diseases that are all characterized by high levels of uh, blood sugar over a longer period of time. The two major types of diabetes are referred to as type 1 or insulin dependent diabetes or type 2 or non-insulin dependent diabetes. So the current treatment for type 1 diabetes is of course insulins. For type 2 diabetes um, people start to take oral antidiabetics. Unfortunately they can only be taken for a certain length of time because they do not address the root causes of diabetes that are insulin resistance on one hand and loss of beta cell function. So eventually these people will have to switch to other agents like uh, insulins as well. If I remember when I was a small kid, my grandma was a diabetic and I always remember her measuring her glucose levels with the small glucose stripes. Also today I have a lot of diabetics in my family and my friendships and, and knowing that I work for them and trying to find a new therapy is really a strong driving force for it every day. Within the diabetes division we're mostly focusing on uh, two areas of research. It's insulin resistance and the world of beta cells. Insulin resistance describes the fact that insulin in, in diabetics is slowly losing its uh, power to act on the cells, telling the cells that it should metabolize glucose. And we try to find drugs which help uh, the cells to react on insulin again. And we also work on the beta cells to build new beta cells so that the dying beta cells are replaced by new ones. We have a very strong uh, focus on peptides. Peptides are like proteins, it's just a shorter version of proteins, it's long chains of amino acids. They are produced in the gut, in the liver, everywhere they're used to send signals through the body. Now working with peptides is very interesting because usually peptides have a very high selectivity, meaning that the patients will require a very low dose of drug every day. And the second thing is that peptides are usually very selective, so there is a very low probability of toxicity of side effects for the patients. We are on our way of building a peptide portfolio. We have a product on the market, but we also have very interesting molecules in preclinical or clinical development that do not only address blood glucose, but also other aspects of the disease like obesity, for example. And furthermore, we are in the process of extending this portfolio by making longer acting molecules with improved properties and molecules that uh, further address different aspects of the disease. Nobody works in splendid isolation. And uh, for example, we have this partnership with the company Gubra in Denmark. They are specialists in uh, bariatric surgery and in identifying molecules that mediate the effect of bariatric surgery. So they are at the forefront of the field. Well, bariatric surgery is a, is a set of different types of surgeries that are performed on the gastrointestinal tract, either the stomach or the upper part of the stomach. The unique things with the bariatric surgeries is that they actually lead to a, a quite a dramatic and sustained weight loss. In the current studies that we are conducting with Sanofi, we're trying to, to see if we can identify new hormones from the gut and try to isolate these peptides and see if they can potentially be turned into new medications to treat diabetes and obesity. And they have all the expertise, they have the knowledge, they have the technical skills. On the other hand, we are the ones that can turn these molecules into drugs. So it is, in fact, a win-win situation for both companies. And actually, we have learned that those collaborations are the most productive, where both sides can contribute and where both sides can profit at the end. I'm very positively surprised because I feel there's a good interaction between sciences from a small biotech like ours and sciences from a big pharma company uh, and that we actually have the same ultimate goal and that is to identify something new and novel. Diabetes is a public health care challenge and it is of course a challenge and a problem for every individual affected by the disease. So by improving the management of diabetes or eventually even finding a way to cure diabetes, we can improve and prolong the lives of many people with diabetes. Mm -hmm.